What's going on, everybody? This is your homeboy, Cable Line Network here. I'm chilling out, Max. Now, how are you feeling today? Okay, guys, we're going to be talking about this badass season final for the Legend of Korra. Now, basically, it was Korra, Mako, Bolin, Sue, and Lin, and they were able to finally manage to breach. I'm going to call... Uh, Kuvira's big metal thing a gun because that's basically what it was now basically the way they were able to get in there was at a cost Asami's father willingly gave his life so an uh, interest can be made for her like he planned to die from the beginning you could tell he did basically at the last moment he injected her out of the sea because on those um hummingbirds they basically have two ejectors red and green I'm guessing green is for above red is for below also, apparently Varric proposed to Chu Lee. Holy hell, that was... Well, I saw that coming a little bit. Seriously, that was seriously epic. It was an entire fight. Everybody versus Kuvira. Holy hell. Seriously. Now, basically a lot of the civilians managed to get to safety because of Prince Wu's you won't believe it's badger moles. Yes, Prince Wu had badger moles. Able to earthbend. Of course, they're the greatest earthbenders in the world since they actually taught humans how to earthbend. Now, they basically got all the civilians to safety without Kuvira noticing. Now, Varric managed to shut down a section of the machines with an EMP blast, a huge one. Holy crap. Now, Batar Jr. actually spilled the beans on, hey, how to, you know, completely destroy the machine because he figured Kuvira, you know, didn't love him no more. You know, I guess she didn't love them hoes. Now, but anyway, guys, put in the comments, what did you think about this? This was so intense. Seriously. Wow, man. Now, you basically saw a big battle between, like I said, everybody versus the airbenders had a cooperative attack it was basically well what did you think was going to happen with it they were basically trying to push the thing back at first but that didn't work um the emp blast did not work on the robot because it ran on spirit vines yeah it didn't run off of no you know regular electronic engine it just ran off spirit vines so basically once they infiltrated it mako and bolin tried to synchronize the levers because Batar Jr. told them that if you pull it down at the exact same time, you will be able to stop this. Now, basically, it was a cutscene where it showed one pull down the other. Now, the cutscene, it went like this. That's not synchronized. So, they basically said, okay, there has to be another way. Then Mako decided to shoot lightning at it because Bolin had the bright idea that if you attack this stuff too much, it'll explode. So, that's what Mako did. But Mako tried to escape getting a lightning shot in his stomach i thought he died to be honest with you like he was basically almost he, i'm not gonna lie he basically looked as fierce as zuko legitimately mako basically had zuko's look it's no joke seriously he basically burnt his whole hand and everything when i say zuko's look i mean that fierce like um you can see it once you watch the original air avatar the way Zuko fights, he has that fierce wet, um, like aura around him. Mako had the same thing. It was pretty intense. Now, Bolin showed some epic lava bending, but apparently they couldn't, well, the middle benders could not bend the actual gutter itself because it was all um, platinum. That was intense. That's why they needed the hummingbirds, and that's why Sami's father gave his life so, you know, they could proceed. Now, basically, this was a two-part episode. When I say two-part episode, I mean it was all in one. The episode was about, what, maybe 50 minutes in whole length? Man, this was seriously insane. Now, everybody was hoping that Toph would appear. Toph wasn't going to appear, guys. They're too old. They want to just chill out. Seriously. Leave all the fighting to us young cats. Just about, you know, that's just how it is. Now, not going to lie, this was amazing. Well-scripted. The action scenes had me like ripped from start to finish it was no gaps it was no waiting periods everything was fast paced um you know complete suspense not knowing what's gonna happen next wow man a true masterpiece now i am kind of sad the legend core is over hopefully they'll do something about an earthbending avatar but in the end you know 
it turned out for the best. You know, they actually managed to stop it, and Cora put the smack down on Cool Vera. I mean, she put the what, 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 what the straight up on Cool Vera. Seriously, they brought the badass epic, I'm going to kick your ass first, Cora. Seriously. Now, Cool Vera managed to survive because after the fight, you know, the fight lasted so long that the whole thing got broken apart once Mako finally managed to blow the thing up. That's when he got shot in the stomach with that lightning. But Bo Lin managed to pull him into, you know, safety and such. Now, the epic part about this was Kovira actually was firing that bloody weapon with her regular hand. Like, she was basically pulling the latch and that latch it can't basically continually fired. Then I guess it was something with the spirit vines. Then it started firing everywhere. She tried to shut it off. It didn't work. Then basically, Cora stopped an entire spirit blast. Yes, she did. And it created a whole new spirit portal. Yes. Incredible. Three new spirit. Well, it's actually one spirit portal. So three spirit portals in all. Right there in Republic City. <laughs> I know the mayor's pissed. And whoever lived there, I know they were pissed off too. Like, they put a big ass crater into the whole damn area. It was crazy. Then the spirits started appearing. Now I've been looking like, hey man. Where were y'all when this was going on, huh, huh? Straight up, but it was still pretty cool though. I'm not gonna lie. I loved that ending. That was legitimately one of the best endings of 2014. Easy, easy. I'm interested to see what else they're gonna do with Avatar. Like I said, an earthbending Avatar would be nice. We saw a lot of firebending with Roku, but they bring a firebender in too, that would be nice as well. Now, Kuvira learned the error of her ways. You know, she actually survived this time. Seriously. Well, um, Zaheer survived as well. It was just the first two, um, you know, enemies that died. But it was still pretty awesome, though. I'm not going to lie. Make sure to like and put in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube page, too. Like up this video for Korra Epic Season Finale. It rocked. Oh, man. Every single minute, every second was just pure bliss. I loved it. Oh, I look forward to seeing what they're going to do with the next, and I can't wait. I can't wait until they do a movie about this. They got to. Come on. The fans need it. Guys, like this video up and share it and send it to them. They need to do a movie about The Legend of Korra. Do it. All right. Peace out, guys. Talk to you later.